Tonight we meet a shark scientist who's using her lifelong passion to help hook other budding young scientists. Girls who may someday pursue STEM careers themselves. WBZ Sarah Robleski introduces us to Megan Winton in our Women in Science series. very motivating um, and I've never been in a position where I feel like the results of my research are directly impacting the community as, as much as I have here um, and that the results of the research um, matter as much as they do here. Meet Megan Winton. She is the first staff scientist hired by the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy in Chatham. I've worked really closely with this organization since 2015 when I started as a PhD student at UMass Dartmouth um, and just to watch the way it's grown and see their commitment not only to the research but to the community to providing the results of the research to the community and to educating the public and to getting kids interested in science like it's just such a great fit um, because it combines all of the things that I'm passionate about. You got good eyes on it. Megan became interested in sharks when she was in elementary school and would visit family in Florida and see fishermen catch sharks off the coast. I asked my mom to get me books on sharks and I started reading about them kind of out of a place of fear and then the more and more I learned about them the more fascinating I realized these animals were and I was just hooked. And her path continued to the coast of Cape Cod where she has been tracking and studying great white sharks the last six summers. Oh wow. It never gets old. I've done this a lot at this point. So I started working on, um, on the population study in 2015 and have been on almost every research trip since then. Um, you would think at some point you'd get tired of looking at these things, but you just don't every time, you know, there, there's excitement. What's your size estimate? From a perspective of a shark scientist, it's great having these animals kind of essentially in my backyard. But it's more than the passion behind her work that gets her excited. It's also getting young girls interested interested in science. Oh, the Gills Club is one of my favorite things ever. Um, so the Gills Club was started by the Conservancy to uh, not only get young girls interested in science, but to, to keep them interested in science as, as they grow up. And the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy knows the impact scientists like Megan can make on a younger generation. We really want them to have role models and so that they can see, wow, that's something I can do one day. It really has built this community, you know, where they get to see being into science is cool. And Megan does have some advice for young girls interested in STEM. There's no such thing as a stereotypical scientist, which has been one thing that I have loved finding out as I've progressed along my career, because growing up, you have this very specific image of what a scientist looks like. And it's usually an older guy in a white lab coat who's very, very uh, serious. But like that scientists come in all forms and um, just stay excited. It works. <laughs> What a great role model. That's, that's so great that girls in our community can look up to her and also to see nonprofits like these expand so we can understand the oceans better. Yeah, and that we're protected. Yeah.